Hey guys, welcome back to Life with Jen. Baby, give me a reason. Tell me just how you're feeling. I could see you're tripping. Tripping off the way I'm living. Living in trust, looking for love. Today, we're gonna be doing another story time. Yes, because I have a lot of things that has happened in my life that I want to share with you guys so you guys can hear all the crazy stories and the wild things that i've gone through in my life today's story time is going to be about the time that i thought that i was going to be stuck or trapped whatever you call it in new york city yes the big apple guys it happened when i was 18 years old and it's a story that i will never forget because one it was a good experience and at the same time it was a it turned horrible in the matter of 24 hours so i wanted to share this with you guys and it just reminded me because i've seen a lot of new york lately and i was like oh my god i dealt with something in new york not too too long ago so i wanted to share this story with you guys and make sure you guys are relaxed chilling Get your drinks, get your snacks, and listen today on this new story of my crazy life and journeys. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Also, don't forget to comment down below any crazy stories that you guys had. If y'all ever went to New York or if you went to a different state than what you were living in and had something bad happen to you or something crazy, I want to know. And let's connect. Make sure you guys follow me on instagram and tiktok i am there actively almost every day so if you guys don't see me on youtube i will definitely be on those social medias and also snapchat i am also on there almost every single day so this story happened when i was 18 and this actually happened on my sister's birthday and the reason why it happened on my sister's birthday was because of this um, the day before all this happened, my sister, she wanted to do something. She wanted to go out. Mind you, she would turn 17. We're only a year apart. So the fact that I had a car at the time, I got my first car at 17, which is crazy. And, um, at that time, I was the only, obviously the only one driving. I, I just got a car. My sister was 16 and then she turned 17 that day that I'm explaining to you guys. And I got my little 2009 Hyundai Sonata, which I will always appreciate that car because it took me everywhere. I went to New York, Albany, New York. It was my baby. Like, I will forever be grateful for that car. And if I had to drive that car again, I would because it was reliable for the time being but yes i did have that a uh, car and at the time which was very crazy i don't know if it's only me or let me know down below but when i was 17 16 15 my parents did not allow me to do anything like i was not allowed to do nothing until i turned 17 18 when i got my car and i was actually able to go places myself and do things my, on my own that i was a little more open and available and free to do things but my sister on the other hand because of the fact that i turned 18 and i was 18 i don't know what made it seem like my sister was 18 too but this girl was out she was out work well she was working too with me and um anything she wanted to do she was able to do she was able to go out with her friends or whatever it was and what i don't know what made her want to go to new york but we spoke about doing something for her birthday so this was the day before and she was saying that she either wanted to go to boston or she wanted to go to new york and or do something i don't remember what either have a party or whatever it was but i guess not a lot of people really had plans or they i think they were busy i don't remember what day it was i think it was a day of the week that her birthday landed on i really do not remember but i know that that the day prior i had i was doing deliveries 
um, at the time. I was doing medical deliveries for this company and I actually had to go to Albany, New York the day before my sister's birthday. So I already drove six hours the day before. So I was not trying to drive six hours again, but she begged and you know, I was saying, oh, let's go to Boston. Like it's simple, you know, nothing too crazy. Boston is not that far from where I live. Cool. She didn't want to do that. So we obviously, you know, agreed to go to New York. It was me, my sister, and two other friends. I believe it was two. Yes. It was two. It was us four girls. So it was me, my sister, and two of our friends that we went to school with. And we're gonna give them names just so like if I mention them, you know, it it makes sense like y'all know who's who so we're gonna name one jasmine and the other one melissa so jasmine and melissa and then my sister so jasmine melissa and my sister we all they all work together and i was still doing the deliveries for the medical company so obviously the day before i wasn't trying to go but then they convinced me to go the day comes my sister's birthday is here we're you know she's 17 years old this she didn't even turn 18 yet I'm the one that's 18 and my sister's still a minor so we told my dad that we were gonna go to Boston because my dad was not gonna let my sister go to New York so we told and I, I think she was waiting for money for him because you know for her birthday he was gonna give her money and she was telling him like oh like i want money to go shopping or do this and that and so she told him oh we're gonna go to boston and stuff so that happened i remember the day like yesterday we didn't end up let me not i'm gonna i don't want to keep skipping but we told him in the morning i remember that day like i said like yesterday when i when i saw him at the time i had i got tattoos and he didn't know that I had tattoos. So tell me why your girl was wearing a sweater in like 80 degree weather. And luckily though, he didn't really put no mind into it. But yeah, I had a whole, like it was like a cream colored sweater with um, Japanese writing or Chinese writing down like the side. It was very nice. I wish I still had that sweater. I don't even know what I did with that sweater. But yeah, we went to go see him and you know he gave my sister the money cool this was early this was like 10 11 o'clock in the morning and after that we all went to rain not rainbows it was mad rags we went to mad rags because we weren't even ready to go to new york yet it was so like last minute we went to mad rags to grab clothes to go because we didn't really have any outfits to go like i was not prepared at all i think i think it was also because um, where we worked at, we got paid the same day. So I think it was a Tuesday or Wednesday that her, her birthday fell on. Because I remember the checks that we got from working at um, the... We worked at a pizzeria. So I did the medical deliveries, but I also did work at the pizzeria. So um, all the checks came that day. So that was the day we went. And before we went to obviously we cashed the checks and everything and the check place was around the corner because it was at a, a, a supermarket like the supermarket had a um, pharmacy and a cash checking place all that so we went there after that we went, came back to the plaza where the pizzeria that we worked at was and they had other stores and i have stories for the pizzeria too but that's you know that's that's another story for another day that like y'all gotta y'all gotta, gotta keep up you know y'all gotta stay tuned in to hear more of these stories so we went and we bought our clothes we bought whatever outfits that we needed i bought some pair of jeans like shorts jean shorts and i had like a white tank top flower tank top I'm gonna, I'm gonna enter a picture around here so you guys can see exactly i think i have the pictures in my phone still because I know when we were in um, New York, we, we took pictures with some anime people. And that's, I'll tell you guys 
that too like some stuff happened with them but yeah we took pictures and i'm gonna I'm insert there so you could see what what i was wearing i wasn't nothing i wasn't wearing nothing crazy at the you know it was normal it was a hot day so i wasn't trying to look too uncomfortable you know something that was enough to be feasible to walk around and everything but that was that my sister on the other hand i don't remember what she was wearing i'm not even gonna lie to you i don't remember i just remember what i was wearing because i think i'm gonna see if i have a picture with my sister so i can insert it so y'all can see what she wore but i really don't remember what she wore but yeah we did that we went to the gas station to buy drinks and things that we needed for the ride and obviously to put gas and we didn't end up leaving until four almost five o'clock no not even not even we didn't end up leaving until like two o'clock around there because i know we still got when we got over there it was still good daytime but it was getting kind of late like we we should have done everything the day before to get there earlier because new york is three hours from where i live so like it was like three yeah three hours to to um times square we were going to times square so you know if we got everything done or early in the morning but also too we were waiting for the checks so i mean it kind of it kind of made sense of why we waited but yeah so that happened we ended up going the ride was smooth thank the lord and when we got there we got there in plain Times square traffic was crazy like new york traffic is something that's so unexplainable and it's like you know like why but yes there's so many cars over there like in all honesty i would never want to live in new york city because that's just not for me i like the space i like the parking i like the fact that i could see over another building like the fact that especially in times square that you can't even see over the buildings like you feel like you're like i don't know when i'm in new york sometimes i feel like the buildings are just too much you can't even see the sun sometimes in some streets like it's not it but yeah the traffic was so bad i remember we were on this bridge for like 30 minutes and i was getting anxiety because i wanted to get off the bridge like it was it was crazy but we finally get to new york times square we find a parking in this alleyway mind you i don't recall i don't when, when i parked there there was no sign there was no sign there was nothing so you know we decided to park there and what i did was i pinged my car so like you know obviously when we went walking we can find my car afterwards and um we got there we parked it was in this little alleyway in front of a hotel and it was very it was like a very nice area there was like little plants there like that's like i i would never forget it was very nice like they had little um like sticks on the sidewalks to kind of like separate where to park and not park and there was like a little area where like there was plants and everything so that's why i parked there was no no parking sign no nothing so i parked there pinged and boom we left we get to times square we start walking around we go into a couple stores we go shopping a little bit um i remember we went into like h&m we went into i think victoria's secret like little things like that it was nothing too crazy i know we also went to the candy store i think there was a candy store that was there either the m m store or or the hershey store i don't remember which one but i know we went there we we saw a, a little strippy around there it was crazy like it was like in a little alleyway like it was really fun i'm not gonna lie it was fun when we were walking though the um the picture that i mentioned to you earlier was from these characters that were walking on the street that were taking pictures of people and these people made us tip them twenty dollars to take a picture with them and i just look back like damn like these people be hustling out here because it's like y'all take a quick picture to say hello what's up you know what i'm saying and like yeah like they take your phone mind you they're charging you 20 dollars to take a picture off your phone 
but anyways you know i gave it to them or whatever because i was like you know like they're they're doing the thing it's hot they're under costumes and stuff so i just gave them the money but we went mind you um it was hot that day like it was hot i would like my my legs were were killing me my my thighs were, were rubbing against each other because i had shorts on and at the time i was um heavy you know heavier at the time so my thighs you know they rubbed together at the time your girl was thick you know so i was you know and we we were just we was just chilling in times square we um went when we went to new york we saw um this little group of people they were dancing and everything you know how where i don't know if you have if whoever's watching this has been to new york but you know that area where there's that the steps like the red steps there was like that big area where people like are there like dancing and stuff we were watching that and um we were just being girls going around and doing our thing we ate food oh my god like that the guy that works at the corner store in Times Square please do better please no offense but I remember I had I think it was chicken or something like it was either a hot dog or something and that thing was so bad I am sorry I couldn't like I heard people told me like now like like saying it people were like oh no nah, you can't go to this one you gotta go to the one in, at this place and i didn't know like we were in times square like i was hungry so i grabbed whatever and that was not it if you guys know what i'm talking about like the little the guy that had that that has like the carts in the corner that has like the little food cart thing yeah that that that's what i'm saying i don't know i don't know about y'all but i did not like it at all mm -mm, not one bit nope Mm -mm, I would never want to get that again like it wasn't it was just not good like I just I just I don't even know the remember the taste it's been so long it's been like five four years yeah like four or five years since this happened and I don't I know it was like uh, the meat like the little meats that they be having with the rice it was it was like that and I just all I remember it was just not good I did not like it so we ended up going to a different spot and I believe I got like a burger or something. It's very simple. You know, sometimes you can't go or you can't go wrong with a simple cheeseburger. You know, you can get that anywhere and be all right. So we sat down, we were eating and stuff. And I was telling my sister, hey, let's get a hotel, you know, so we can relax and chill. Because in my honesty, if I go to New York and if I'm not going sorry i have to get a little comfortable if i'm not going in the morning to be there all day to then go home i'm gonna want to get a hotel so i can relax chill and then come back the next day because mind you at the time i'm the only one with a car i'm the only one with a license so no one else on that trip had a license so i was the only one who knew how to drive so i was telling her hey look for a hotel so we can stay here for the night then what, what what was the name that i gave earlier damn i forgot i think it was melissa and jennifer okay so and if it's not i'm sorry melissa is one of them jennifer is the other one melissa she was like oh no nah, i gotta get back because i have to go to work so did miss jennifer they both said we had to go back because we worked the next day my heart dropped to my ass because i was so mad like i was like y'all don't understand i worked six hours the day before i went to albany new york and i had to come back over here and y'all telling me that i have to drive back i was so angry like it was cool and everything because i didn't know none of that like we were we were there for a minute like we were walking for a while we went to different stores we went to we saw like the uh mcdonald's like it's so nice like the, the two-story four mcdonald's like it was very nice like you know we were having a good time we went to um 
this gas station that had like little knickknacks and stuff and um there was another part where um we were walking in times square tell me why a group of men come up to us trying to holler at us and we were letting them know like like no we're good or whatever tell me why they had the audacity to call each one of us the b word they were like they were like um f y'all bitches and this this and that and blah 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 and we were just like oop and i remember jennifer was like your mother your mama because it's like damn like why y'all so aggressive that like, y'all coming mad am i harsh and stuff and then then y'all y'all get mad when you get let down put down like first of all y'all weren't even cute while y'all weren't even like worth none of that so the fact that y'all got offensive that are defensive so quickly is is crazy and it was so like messed up that um michelle said that was it michelle melissa melissa said this to a lady a lady was walking in a not walking she was in a wheelchair and she was crossing the street and this girl had the audacity to say just stand up bro like i had to walk away like this girl was so messed up like ah man and like it was it was it, like I feel bad to you old lady who who was in that wheelchair. I am so sorry for her and her actions Me and, and, and the crazy part is that me and Melissa don't even talk like that and, and Nowadays because like you know after time you have those people where like you still don't have them in your life You know what I'm saying? You're cool with them, but you just separate y'all have your own separate lives and stuff And that's just that's just really how it is with them. You know, like we moved on we got our own lives and stuff And you know, that's that obviously I'm still my sister's life because you know, that's my sister, but yeah, so um, we did all that and After that they told me that it was time for us to go Because you know, they had to go to work the next day we we go back to where my car was located we start walking mind you this it's like so three hours we didn't get here until like 2 a.m so like we didn't end up leaving until like 10 o'clock so we go walking we're following we're following my phone the gps and we get to the spot where my car is supposed to be i'm looking i'm looking and i'm like where's my car oh where it at <laughs> and i'm looking at my sister like you effed up you effed up I did this because if you if you didn't tell me to come here da 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 I wouldn't be we wouldn't be in the situation right now look I don't even know where my car is I I was it was bad like I started bawling my eyes out I was sitting on the concrete floor of New York City in Times Square bawling my eyes out because I either assumed that they told my car or my car got stolen it was like it was like the worst thing ever. I was like, I don't even have money. Like, I, my, first of all, first of all, forget about that. My dad, our dad don't even know we're in New York. I was like, our dad's going to kill us. He thinks that we're in, in Boston. What are we going to tell our dad? We need, oh shoot. If my car is told, we need money to get it out. And today, I mean, I'm thinking, I think, I'm thinking it was a weekend because I think, it was they said um i think it was a weekend because i think they mentioned that because of the days that i want to be able to get my car that that quickly or maybe because of the time i don't remember but it was i was hysterically crying i was crying on the floor i was saying why like this is what happens when i try to be a good sister da, 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 da. like i was coming at her and everything and i called like three four tow truck companies and i was letting them know like hey this is my car um this is my license plate da, 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 da. do you have it no i called another one no the last one no so i resorted 
to calling the police because I wanted to make sure that they didn't repo it or I, I you know if my car got stolen you know is there like you know to report it and everything and they didn't have nothing in my system in their system apologies <sighs> man I was I was like I was bad like I was hyperventilating hyperventilating and I was just so angry I was like yo I'm gonna beat this girl's ass because da 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 I'm always doing something for my sister that's this. like you know when you have your sister like your younger sibling and they're always like you know you're always protecting them they're always doing severe I'm the oldest so it's like whatever she goes through or whatever it is I'm the one that's gonna be there you know so it's like that like just the fact that i did this and like i was already tired like i already drove six hours the day before what made like you know what i'm saying and then like i i drove three more hours for her for this and i get rewarded for my car getting taken so mind you we're there we got no money to take no uber home we don't got no money to take no no um car out no towing company our dad don't even know that we're here in new york he don't even know and then my sister and michelle melissa i'm sorry not michelle melissa end up separating from me and jennifer to see if they can find the car so i was just like f y'all like do like do what you gotta do like that's your problem like you know i was mad like i should have never let my sister be gone but at the same time Melissa was an adult too at the time so like it's not like she was in with an adult but you know I should have just stayed with her and stuff um but yeah after that I am just hysterically crying I'm telling Jennifer like I don't know why I came over here like this is crazy like we're stuck like y'all talking about y'all talking about y'all got work tomorrow so y'all need to figure it out because I, I could stay here for the weekend like you know what I'm saying I don't mind staying here for a little couple days but you know y'all better figure your situations out get back on the floor and I'm just thinking about life like where what what have I done so wrong that I did I had to deserve this like my first car like I worked so hard for my first car like my car is my my job like I I work doing deliveries I deliver medicine to different hospitals and things like that so like or I, I did it before I'm just like I'm gonna lose my job I can't do this like all this for just a little trip that wasn't even planned this is and that and then we're just there waiting and waiting but 10 minutes go by and my sister calls me on FaceTime and she like you know and I, th I didn't even want to answer because I was so mad at her like I was so mad that my car got taken or stolen whatever it was but you know obviously I was gonna answer because she's my sister and you know she's in we're in New York and obviously I don't want to think you know if something happens I want her to you know I have to answer so she calls me tell me why my sister calls me on a street that looks just like the street that I am on then she flips the camera and my baby was there <gasps> bro my car was on a different street than the location that i put on the street was it was on the same like the same side if that like you know when you have an intersection it was on this side but it was on the other side of the intersection my where my gps pinged it was on this side so it looked so familiar they the whole street looked the same pretty much so and especially at night like it you know things change a little bit at night it's not as the same you know it's different so when she called me i cried again like i cried because i was just you know i was happy like I have my car I did my car didn't get taken and luckily I got lucky cuz your girl didn't even get a ticket in New York and you know damn well in Times Square then people be having tickets like like nothing like if that's like the the last thing they, they're gonna eat like they be giving them things out like nothing like if it's a it's a contest like 
it's crazy and it's so expensive like tickets over there you get like, a little ticket a parking ticket be like a hundred something dollars like yeah i don't know like going to times square like i love going to new york like i am dying to go again because like and let me know if y'all want me to do a little vlog when i go because i don't be blogging but maybe i might pop a vlog here and there you know maybe we'll see we'll see but yeah she called me and my car was there safe and sound no ticket no nothing and we walked across the street normal we got in the car and we you know we left i was so mad though because i was the only one that was allowed to drive or knew how to drive and i had to drive three hours back and it was like 11, 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night. And your girl was tired. Like, mind you, I was up so early the day before. And I had to wake up early the same day to get my life together. And obviously deal with my sister stuff so we can get our money and all this extra things. So I was so tired. Like, on the way back, I tried my best not to fall asleep. Obviously, I didn't fall asleep because, you know. That, that would have been crazy but i um like girl i almost did luckily my i had a friend that was, like, jennifer was up so we were talking and we were conversating Avanya or my sister she knocked out completely like it was mad funny she had her she she was out and so was melissa it was it was good though but yeah that is that is crazy how in new york the streets look so similar and if you don't know like the numbers and the east dub west 44th street or you know third like trust me that you'll get lost over there like because there's a lot of the streets that look exactly the same and the and the crazy part about all this is that my dad don't know none of this to this day and if he sees this i'm sorry we're grown now so you can't even get mad so like you know but he has no clue he still thinks that we went to boston which is crazy because we're crazy enough to say that we're gonna go to one state and we went to a whole different state like that's some crazy ass stuff that's not what normal people do because what the hell but yeah this 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 is uh the story of how i thought that we were gonna get trapped in new york and shout out to all my new york's people because look I love New York. Like, I'm dying to go to New York City. I love to go, to visit, to live, not my cup of tea. If I was to live in New York, it would probably be, like, in the suburban areas, like, the outskirts of it, and then, like, drive to New York City. That we can talk about. But other than that, mm -mm. no. And I have, like, two more stories about New York. So if you guys want to hear those stories about the times I went to New York, comment down below and give me a like and also share this video to your friends and family so they can hear more of my story times and get to know me and so i can also get to know you guys too like stay happy we need a name for the family so comment some suggestions down below once again i love you guys so much and thank you guys for watching Bye. But we gon' learn how to love. We gon' learn how to love. Yeah, yeah. Thinking of the time I had you.